Scribner Associates 850 Fuel Cell Test System is a compact, turnkey instrument for fuel cell research and development. Simply follow the instructions to complete the installation process and get started testing. Install the optional automated or manual multi-gas selector, which allows for easy switching between test gases on the anode and cathode. Remove the four chassis screws and the protective caps. Attach the rigid stainless steel tube of the multi-gas selector unit to the 850 anode and cathode inlet ports and then reinstall the chassis screws to attach the multi-gas unit. Tighten the tubing connections with the provided 916 inch wrench. Connect the hydrogen anode supply to inlet port A of the multi-gas valves using a swage lock flexible stainless steel line. Connect air to cathode inlet port A on the multi-gas valves. Connect nitrogen to cathode inlet port B on the multi-gas inlet and also to the 850 purge inlet. This allows for easy switching of the cathode supply gas for diagnostics and testing. Connect a source of pressurized DI water to the 850 water inlet port. Open the gas and water supplies. Once the 850 is pressurized, check for leaks upstream and downstream of the 850 using a combustible gas detector and or soapy water solution. Connect the 850 to a standard power outlet. 120 VAC or 230 VAC configurations are available. Connect the GPIB to USB adapter to the GPIB connector. Connect the other end to a USB port on a Windows PC. The 850's humidifiers can be filled either manually or automatically. To start the automatic humidifier water fill, simply power on the 850. The auto water fill will start automatically. Remove the protective caps from the 850 heated lines and connect to the cell fixture's inlet ports. Connect the cell vent tubing to exhaust or back pressure system inlet ports. Connect cell exhaust to appropriate vent, such as fume hood. Insert the thermocouple into the cell fixture. Connect the thermocouple plug to the thermocouple input on the 850 front panel. Connect the cell fixture heater plug to the cell heater power socket on the front panel of the 850. Connect the cell fixture load cables to the 850 bus bar terminals. Note the standard color convention of red to positive and black to negative. Voltage sense leads follow the same convention. Connect the voltage sense cable to cell fixture current collector plates. Cell fixture connections are complete. Install the heated cuffs, which prevent cold spots and water condensation at the junction between the 850 heated lines and the cell fixture inlet. Install Scribner's fuel cell software. Select the 850 model and enter the 850's serial number to complete the installation. The instrument configuration screen is used to configure the software to match the test system specifications. Mass flow controller sizes, humidifier bypass, auto multigas or AMG, alarm responses, and other items can be configured here. The 850 is now ready to be used.